about running sledgehammer, I thought it might be cool to do some penetration tests on mild steel plate. Sweet. Please so we've got three squares out there. We have three quarter inch, half inch, and quarter inch, right Chad? Yes sir. They're what, 12 inch by 12 inch, I think. Correct. We're gonna hit it first with 556 five, FMJ. No, we don't have any AP with us today. No, no penetrator stuff. It's just FMJ, bro. Yep. Hit it, go. So give each plate like three rounds. Okay. We've got them slightly angled. One, so it deflects around a little bit, and then two, hopefully it stays standing up, which uh, as we hit it with 308, that may not be the case. All right. Hit it. That one plate fell, right? Yeah, right after I hit it the last time. All right. Chad wanted to uh, function check his RFB, which has not been running with, I don't know, shall we say a plum. <laughs> Probably my fault. It's I will blame you on it, yes. on the steel, but I couldn't tell what it was doing through the scope. It sounded like about a pellet gun against those things, didn't it? Yeah. Hold on, wait, I gotta make sure this is right over here. <laughs> right would have been yep, up with. It's right. Hit it. <coughs> Same day rules apply in the shop, bro. What's that? We start it on a Monday, we need to end on a Monday. <laughs> Same day rules. Dude. He's still getting cobobulated. Yeah. Oh. So much for function test. I told him to run run the TNP RP. <laughs> He's like, no, I'm good. This will go good. That's not what I said. I said, dude, if I show that on camera, yeah, it's drama. He's yeah. like, no, we got it. Oh yeah. So it's it's all him, man. Three rounds a piece, dude. Yeah. Uh, no, knocked three it over. On the far one. And you're stuck again. Hating this thing right now. I think it's hating you. Okay, I fell over. I will say we're gonna have a hard time going through the three quarter inch plate. Probably a pretty safe bet. Wow, look at that. Quarter inch. Burned it. Check it. Five, five, six right through it, so we know 308 will make it through. Yeah, totally. Look at that. That's quarter inch mild steel, guys. FMJ. That is not armor piercing. That is really cool. Clean. Went through clean. It's cool. Isn't it amazing, though? You think that, you know, you can hide behind something that you might think is actually cover because yeah. it's steel and FMJ busts right through it. Once again, getting to the fact the rifle is your best weapon. Yep. We'll hit this with pistol before the, we're done with this video. Heck yeah. Okay, I think this is our three quarter inch plate right here, dudes. Three quarter, yep. Yeah. Yeah, it didn't go through all the way. Look though, on the back you can see the 556, 556, yep. 556, 308, 308, 308. Yeah. Ah, oh, that is cool looking. Bring it out here, dude, to the light. Look at the blast coming out of those. How cool that is. That is cool. And the jacket just welded into the metal. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. That is cool. awesome. So I guess uh, you better find something three quarter inches thick or better. Yep. You can get a profile down and see how it's sticking out. It's kind of cool. Yeah, totally. Rocked it. Wicked. We'll hit it some more. We'll okay. do three more on each. 
Actually, I guess we're good as long as we got three good hits on it. Yeah, so this is our half, right? Do some pistol on it. This is a half inch. Oh, check that out. You got a 308 penetration hole on that. <laughs> See, look at the what difference. This must at? have just been because the plate shot. moved. So that was why that one didn't go through, because that was his other shot. Well, yeah. we'll hit that three more times with 308 and see what's yeah. up. Yeah. I think it hit the bottom and it just gave way. That is pretty close to going through right there, though. 5.56. Five, five, look at that. Yeah, that is cool looking. Hey, here's an interesting tidbit. That's a 16-inch barrel, right? 18. Yours is an 18? Yeah. Yeah, that helps too. Mine's a 24. Oh yeah, so you're going a lot quicker. That's a good yeah. point, actually. Yeah, you've got a lot more velocity cranking yeah. out of that sucker. Let's hit it with the short barrel RFB next. Okay. And yeah. that way, I don't know, maybe it's uh, reliable. <laughs> Here comes the editing hand. The edit hand. Penetration tests. Three dudes in a penetration. Three dudes in a penetration. Test. That's sick, boys. Sick. Penetration part three. Handgun, nine millimeter XDM. Standard ball, PMC 115. Let's see what it does. What's your prediction? Nothing. Nothing. Sucky. Nothing. Nothing. No penetration Did at all. Did it mashed up and kind of laughed at the... It's going to laugh at all of them. No Little dimples? dimples. No dimples. There you go. That's the quarter inch. Hmm. So, would you take nothing. five five six or nine mm? <laughs> World of difference, man. Depends. World of difference. So you know what it did on these. Oh yeah, it's same. It's like a mosquito on a windshield. These laughed even harder. <laughs> oh, it went through. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Right through one of those other holes, maybe just finished it off. Nothing. That's nine, <laughs> yeah. nine, and nine. Nope. Nothing. We won't even waste time looking at that. No. Other one. Well, Chad will. <laughs> Made a distinctive thing. Pretty definitive, I would say. Yeah. Forty, like you were saying, forty and forty-five are going to be even worse. Yeah. For penetration. Slower and. All right, Chad, sir, light it up with that RFB, dude. Okay. Just try to hit it square. Grab the one that works. <laughs> I think I only had eight in here. He's taking too long, so I'll go ahead and fire. Dude, that was getting some splash. I saw dust on the back side of the top one. You want me to hit him? <laughs> I think that was a miss. Yeah, two misses. You just melt through that quarter inch blade. That first one's quarter. Oh. <laughs> Hit that far one if you're in close camo. I don't know how many's left in there, but at least a couple, I think. I want to shoot it just to feel that sweet trigger. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, at least maybe you got one. I think there was probably only 10 in the mag. Save a round if you got any. I want to, I want to feel it too. Oh, yeah, that was it. Rip off. Rip off. <laughs> that trigger rocks. It's awesome, isn't it? Yeah.
Sweet. That's 556, five, right? Yep. 308, 308, 308. Just melting through the quarter inch steel plate. That's incredible. Yeah. I mean, that is thick steel compared to what most things are made of. Right. When like you, you think said, about I mean, it, you'd, you know, you'd hide behind something like that in a house. Hey, what, what can you name in a house that's made out of quarter inch steel? Probably Nothing. very little, if anything. Wall boards, some two by fours, maybe some stucco. You should Maybe. watch Mr. and Mrs. Smith again and watch uh, Brad Pitt hide behind the refrigerator door. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> so this is uh, this is our thickest plate today, three quarter inch. You're safe behind that. Yep. From 308, three quarter inch steel plate. At those plate. distances, point blank, I'm betting it'll go through. Probably. No difference between the 24 and the 18 though. Yeah. In the on dimples the on the back, they're both the same. Yeah, pretty much. I don't know, look at the difference though. Look at his compared to the other ones. You know what, surplus ammo, steel core stuff might get through it. Oh, steel core would go right through. It'd be really fun to run some AP on that. I know, I wish I would have thought to bring some. <laughs> Swiss cheese. Half inch mild steel plate wasted by both 556 and 308. Yep. Well, uh, I should say 308. Yeah. 556 was struggling against it. Still, you put enough in the right spot. True. That's true. It's pretty awesome. That's kind of obvious. That right is cool, yeah. Obvious right there. Put enough yep. in the right spot. Way cool. That's it. Wicked. Some simple steel penetration tests with uh, 308 and 556 mostly. Popped a few 9 on it just for grins. We knew it wouldn't do anything. And the plates laughed. They laughed, so make sure if you're gonna hide behind something, it has to be three quarter inches or thicker of steel. <laughs> good luck finding that in everyday life. Or a lot of timber, dirt, dirt's good. Dirt's a good. A lot of dirt. Next test, cold steel knives against that. Yeah. <laughs> Use your own versus. <laughs> Use your own. <laughs> that fancy, see ya. Bye.